What's up everybody, I'm Shadik the Battle, and today I'm doing another what if video, and today's what if is, what if Super Saiyan Blue never existed? <laughs> now because we got the what if name out of the way, let's start with the what if. So, I know you're wondering, how did Super Saiyan Blue never come to existence? So, I'm just going to, you know, change some th things in the whole entire Dragon Ball thing. So, in this universe, you cannot combine Super Saiyan God with the normal Super Saiyan. The reason why I'm saying this is because Super Saiyan God is so controlled and calm, and Super Saiyan is so ruthless and, like, angry and stuff. So, in this universe, you cannot combine... Co Combined, I'm ruthless and angry with controlled and calm. So, yeah, starting with the what if. So, the training with weeks will still commence because the Battle Gods movie still went the same. But in this universe, um, like I said, say you cannot combine the powers of Super Saiyan God with the normal Super Saiyan. So, Goku and Vegeta just have the normal Super Saiyan God. So, Sorbet. So Sobe um still gets the Dragon Balls. He still wishes for Frieza back to where they still they still re rebuild him and he still comes back, he still trains and still um gets his golden form. So the same thing happens in the original film. Captain Ganyu still comes back, Gohan gets shot with a death beam. Piccolo still dies with Glee to go and drain it on his energy and ended up with Captain Ginyu getting eviscerated by Vegeta. So then Goku and Frieza rise into the air to stop the battle. So when the battle starts, both of them are pretty equal. So then Frieza says that this is not even his full power. Go Goku being being just a little bit more weaker than he was in the main canon, decides to just turn it up a notch and go Go Super Saiyan. Now the fight is he is a little bit more even now, even though Frieza has a little bit more of an upper hand because Goku is just a little bit more weaker in this in this timeline. So then then Frieza snockily um taunts Goku about him not being as strong that as he thought he was. And then Frieza rambles on about, about, you know, about his power. And then he starts to power up. So then Frieza powers up. And his body is is covered by a blinding light. And when he was finished with his transformation, he was GOLDEN Frieza. Goku counters this by going to his Super Saiyan God form, but Frieza is still more powerful than Goku. So Super Saiyan God Goku powers up and you and uses 50% of his power against Golden Frieza. Frieza does his signature oh, 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 laugh. Laughing at Goku with his minuscule power. At this point Frieza is just torn Toying with Super Saiyan God Goku, and Goku was forced to use his full um Super Saiyan God power. Frieza counters that by using twenty five percent of his golden power. Even though even though he's just toying with him, if he actually was being serious, he will actually completely destroy Goku. So Frie Frieza just launches just a bunch of death beams at. At Goku, piercing his arms all over. So then, right before Frieza was about to win the fun finishing blow, Vegeta, at the very last second, deflects the beam out of the way. So then, both Super Saiyan gods rush Frieza at once. Frieza counters by using 50% of his golden power. But his power is draining very fa very fast though, so he has to um, beat them quick. Then Goku starts to charge a god Kamehameha, while Vegeta distracts Frieza. Free Frieza tries to um, 
stop Goku from doing the Kamehameha, but Vegeta is not letting him. So then, so then, when the Kamehameha was launched, Vegeta uses his Big Bang attack at the same time, colliding with Freeze, with, with Frieza. And then he also hits the Kamehameha as well. So not only um that knocked Frieza out of his golden form, it also heavily wounded him. So that so that means he is extremely weak at this point. Goku and Vegeta Vegeta just finish him off with just a <coughs> with just a Kamehameha um Gawa gun attack. Which finished Frieza off. So the world is now safe. Goku and Vegeta um have a feast and stuff. But I'm gonna leave off this part at right here. What do you guys think will happen in the next part of What If Super Saiyan Blue Never Existed? Goodbye.